three, two, one. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. If you're wondering what I got in my hand, it's some nerds. You don't want them clusters. Man. The nerd I, clusters. I, I ain't tell you. I'll, I'll get one out of the bag. Hey, what y'all didn't know about clusters? I had one in the bathroom a while ago. It was a cluster. <laughs> What's some things, Brit, that you like the clusters from Walmart? Oh, I'm using one of that trail mix or granola. The, the trail oh, mix yeah, clusters. Yeah, yeah. Them were fire for yeah, a boat pretty snack. Good. Pretty good. Anyway, no, no for that. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in again. I got my boys here with us. Um, if you don't know Mark, this is Mark Daniels Jr., Adrian Ravina, some other dude over here. Jacoby Wheelhouse. Jacoby Wheelhouse. Jacoby and we're here at, uh, the, at the shores of Toledo Bend. Toledo Bend, you name it. The Bend. The Big mm. Bend. And, uh, is there many bends in this lake? Not really. I a, lot, a lot of bends in the river channel. There is a lot of bends in the you river channel. Yeah. Fun. You might knock it off, though, today if you try to go up there. You'll knock it off on one of these big stumps out in this lake, too. Yes, sir. Yes, it's a stumpy sum of gun. Hey, speaking of Toledo Bend, how big is this place? Oh, my gosh. I gotta look at that. Hey, Dude, I burned. I burned Google. 78. No, I didn't burn. I ran 78 miles today. Yeah. And you, you ain't, ain't, seven you ain't touched the lake. And it got a lot bigger over the last week because it rained about a foot and a half. Right? Dude. Yeah. Lake come up. How many feet the lake come up since we've been? Well, three and a half foot. Is it 85? Since we've been here. I was about to say 185. That's crazy. 185,000 acres. Quick little reference of how big that is. I live right there on Lake Jordan in Alabama. Guess how big, how many acres? 12,000. 7,000. 7,000. Yes, sir. It's actually like 5,600. Oh, okay. No, this is 180. 180,000. Oh. Holy oh crap. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I ain't going to lie. Toledo been legit, you know, excluding the Great Lakes, Erie, and all that. Probably the biggest lake I've never been on. Place, yeah, but if you Google it, like by acreage, then we're going on a tangent here. Y'all bear with us. This is really important stuff. If you Google biggest uh, lake lake by by size, like shoreline, not shoreline. Shoreline's different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Smell. acreage, mm -hmm. acreage, surface acres. Toledo's like fifteenth on the list. Really? What's number one? Do you know? Oahe. Probably Hawaii. Oh, God. I forgot about him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Other than the Great Lakes? Yeah, big Probably. Yeah. Oh, it is the Great Lakes up there. Hawaii's huge. huge. It, it goes is. like through North Dakota. It's like 200 yeah, yeah. miles long. That's true. I yeah. forgot about him. But like Toledo's literally like 15th on the list. And I'm like, well, dang, I don't know this. But if you look at a map of Toledo being, it's like literally the size of Louisiana. It's huge. It's freaking bro. giant. It's big. <laughs> but whenever you're running, you're like, hey, I'm just going to run to that creek. And then 20 minutes later, <laughs> right. you're like, you man, still, it's still five miles yeah, away. I ain't there yet. Lake Mitchell, the lake I grew up, is like literally seven miles to the dam. It's like 12 miles long. Jeez. Big dog. Small pond. There's a creek here that's six miles long. What? The, what's the name of it? Six Mile Creek. <laughs> <laughs> That's how six I know he's six miles. miles. Trick question, y'all. Anyway, we'll we'll get the podcast started. Um, here, basically, what we're talking about is what have you been doing in the off season? What have we been doing in the off season? I, uh, this this off season was uh, a little bit, a little bit different. You know, I feel like uh, I sort of took a chill pill, stepped back a little bit. I did do a little bit of deer hunting. I did. Uh, I went deer hunting for three days. I I, I had three. It's three days. <laughs> It was literally a little bit. I'm not Colin, talking about Colin, a how many days bit. did you go? 48? Uh, I made like 86. 86? 86. God. 80. 80. God, so I went three days. Now, I went Dang. like two all-day sits in my three days, so I went hard for my three-day hunt. But I, I used to love, I, I, I used to deer hunt. My problem is this. This is my biggest problem. I can't do anything halfway, so if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all in, and the problem is now with the family, I have two little kids at home. Yep. It's uh, it's tough. And the bass were biting, too. So yeah. I, I had I, I reeled a few of those in until I went smallmouth fishing this fall. Hung out, and then it was just really PD stuff. A lot more stuff on the PD side for me. So I'm, I'm working nonstop. My, traditionally, it's more of a 9 to 5 on PD in the fall, winter time for me. Hey, tell right. everybody what at home, PD is. PD. So product development. Product development. So product development. So on the Crush City <laughs> stuff, all, all that stuff, trying to dial in on that. Some Rapala stuff. I have a new top water coming out. 
Um, so just always, whether it's a hook, whether it's a bait, whether it's something with icon with a boat, just always something. I actually caught some today on a prototype. Proto. Bait. Proto. Hey, that's like good. Hey, it, it, good it is actually unique. That's a good bait. It's anyway, good. uh, heck yeah. Well, what I did in the off season. What did you do? Other than uh, fish. Did you ever tell the story? I tended to my pregnant wife. Hey, you did. Big dog. I got to throw this out here for all the people at home. Actually, y'all too. Y'all know. Because all y'all have children. (laughs) Them pregnancy hormones ain't no joke. Off the charts. One minute they're happy, next minute they're crying. I'm like, I don't know what to do. (laughs) (laughs) What do I do? And then when she starts crying, I say, Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm so I'm so far removed from that, bro. I don't know. My youngest is 16. Gosh, Mark, I can believe that. Hey, you OG wow. man. So look, I'm watching you boys. Adrian got two little babies. Yep. Zay Dub got two babies. Which well, Olivia ain't really a baby, but she young. Right? She five. Yeah, you she got just turned five. Coming. And I'm watching y'all dealing with all this, all this. You don't went through that change. 15 years ago. 15 years ago, bro. Wow. Crazy, but it's it's cool to see y'all. Stepping into fatherhood, man, it's a, it's a great thing once you get past the hormones. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been doing that, and then I went fishing a lot. Me and Mark actually went fishing several oh, yeah. times. Oh, yeah. Um, went deer hunting, shot a big dummy. How big was it? How, hey, 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 y'all. I always hear y'all talking about these inches, right? <laughs> Mark, so, Mark's so like, look, Mark goes by weight. He's like, man, man I hey, just, that, that just, one was 200 pounds. It was pounds. just big. Like, it was well, big. Well, the deer I shot weighed... Uh, I think he was a four year old. I think he weighed like two forty. Damn, that's a big one. That is a big one. And how many? And then, and then is that explain dressed? to me the inches. That was There's, just like two forty. There's no way that was dread. That that's a monster no, deer. I, they, they don't they don't shoot deer like that. Was it a five year old? No, no. Well, here's the thing. Two forty. Two fifty pound deer yeah, is a huge. is a dang horse. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Two forty <laughs> up there is not really. <laughs> 160. <laughs> 240 is not uncommon at all. Colin, like come on, step deer. in here. 240. No, I'm not saying what you said. Saskatchewan? Yeah, they're giant. All right. Somebody comment below. Close. If y'all shot a big deer in Illinois, how much, what's the average weight? I'm going to say if he's five years old, he averages 240. Hey, but look, you got to help me out, though, because y'all always talk. Because I have shot one that went 285. <laughs> Tell me about the inches, though, bro. Because I, right. I don't understand that. Oh, yeah, I shot 165 incher. I'm like, bro, what does that mean? They measure the 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 inches of antlers on his head. So like, take a tape measure, tape measure and literally measure the antlers. So, but then you got all the little horns. Shooting. I'm gonna you set have, this down for you. Have, you have mass measurements too. All right. So you have a mass the thickness measurement. of it. Sure. So like, this is my rack on my head, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a tape measure. And I'm gonna measure around this right here, and I'm gonna get that measurement. Yeah. And I'm gonna measure this right here and get that measurement. And then as they measure the whole rack. You know, you got G1, 2, 3, 4, all the points. All the points. They measure all that up, hey. and it comes out to, it came out to be 160. 160. 160 inches. The easiest way to look at it is actually this. Your hand. Yep. yep. There. Explain. One, two, three, four, five. But you got five. Those are the points. Five measure points. Measure the length of this. Yep. Measure yep. the length of yep. all these. Yep. All right. And you add them up. Then you measure your mass measurement. Mm-hmm. Boom. So that all, at the base. At the base. base. That accounts for the inches as well? Correct. Yeah. So when you There's say mass measurements as well. That was also the mass of it too. And then you, you do your spread. So the widest point from the inside to inside, you measure that. Mine was 17 inches. So you hear like 20 inch spread. Oh, got a 20 inch spread. Like it's how wide oh, it was. Okay, how wide it was. One shot last year was 21 and a half. Jeez. Mega. God. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was a good deer. Yeah, it was a good one. Big. Good deer. But shot him. I was going to say... I would say like an... Well, it depends, depends on where you're at 160 is equivalent to like an, a, probably a 10-pounder. Yeah, I would say 160. I would say... Uh, nah. I would say I would say like 8-pounder. Yeah. I would say like in the South. I would say 160 is like an 8-pounder. A, like a, a 175 is like an 10-pounder. Like a, like a, a Booner's... One, Let's uh, say like on a, a Toledo Bend. And then a 200-incher is like a teener. Yeah, In my, I'll that's say that. A, a that's, 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 that's a good equivalent. That's, that's the, the ratio. So I shot that deer, um, and then uh, just been kicking around the house and just enjoying family time. I uh, got to see my wife a lot. I, we're not home a lot, so I'm sure y'all yeah. seen everybody. So yeah. it's been good. I've been really, really excited about the season starting, and here we are. 
What'd you do? Yeah, man. Uh, a lot like you, DC. And, and me and DC live an hour away from each other. So I see DC on a random Friday morning. Like, how, more, how, far, how far are you from, from, from Jordan Hour? <clears throat> no, nah, I'm like 40 minutes to Jordan. DC, like three minutes. But I yeah. like to go there a lot too. DC's always there. So I'll pull up. Sometimes I'll call him, but sometimes not. And we'll see each other on the lake, whatever. Then we jump in them little fruit jar tournaments. Now we have a good time. So I did a lot of fishing, getting my electronics dialed in, getting better at the whole four facing sonar panning panning and all of that um i've come a long way so i'm, I'm proud of that but uh um, big dog it wasn't that long ago you was looking at gummy worms gummy worms bro on two <laughs> perch no, yeah. I, was, I was dropping on minnows <laughs> yeah 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 top minnows <laughs> i was dropping on top well, chub, chub, chub he, he thought, he thought hey, they were, he thought they were y'all, muskies. y'all y'all been there your boy, I used to, you know, y'all, y'all know I grew up on that Delta, on that Dirty D, man. We didn't use no graphs. So it took me a long time to kind of understand what I was looking at. And so I'll be out there floating around. They be laughing at me still to this day. And a piece of grass will fly, flow by the transducer. And I'm like, oh, there go one. And I'm dropping on these little itty bitty specks. It was nothing. And then I, I remember who told me. It was either Jacob or DC. One of y'all told me. He was like, they kind of look like gummy worms. I was like, oh, Okay. So sure enough, that's when they're underneath the boat. Here comes the gummy worm underneath the, underneath the boat. Yeah. I'm like, up, well, maybe that's what they talking about. And I drop down, dink. I'm like, zzz, zzz. I'm like, oh, five pounder. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, light bulb, big dummy light bulb went boom. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm trolling around looking for nothing but gummies. <laughs> that's all I want to see. He I, literally, I, think, I think the reason why we give him such a hard time is just because we see how far he's come. I would oh, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would miles. Oh, blue. Yeah, you, you, know, you want a tournament to, dropping I, on gummy worms. Facts, facts. In Gummy. Five hey, foot. I need to, one foot. One <laughs> hey, his, his FG <laughs> wasn't even coming out of his like right a line. Seven hey, foot, bro. His seven foot. Mark, Mark me on one of them little shells up there, and the wind be blowing, a boat crash, and that fish up there ain't never seen a fish lure, apparently. In life. They ain't even run. Like, hey, no. Mark, big dog. He dropped. He like right see them seven right foot. Right there. He <laughs> drop on them in seven. They go. Literally. Doop. Hey, but I was dropping on the knot. Wasn't even coming out my line. My, <laughs> my, my <laughs> leader knot. And then when they see your stuff, they go <laughs> real quick. And I'm like, they, nah, they, I saw they, you. <laughs> it's like they're just sitting there and they're looking up and they're like, feed me, feed me, <laughs> feed me. And then, and then Mark go. drops his stuff. The knot don't even come out of leader. They go. <laughs> Is it? Eat it. Anyway, Doinky. Adrian, what'd you do? Doinky. Man, I uh, I, I didn't do a lot of bass fishing. I sold my boat early, and uh, I had I had a son this fall, second kid. Congrats, congratulations, brother. congratulations, bro. congratulations yeah, man. Big dog. Pretty pretty awesome. So uh, I, I did a lot of commercial fishing, some chartering, some fishing, but um, fished that team series in the fall, and that oh, was yeah. the last time I caught a bass. We all did that. We, we all, we all left that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and talk about it though, Adrian. I don't know nothing about it. Man. No, I'm saying like your experience with it. The like team you, series? Yeah, what you think about team series? I think the team series is cool, but you need to be smart on who you pick as teammates. Yeah, but sometimes you so, sometimes you're just left with the last pick like yeah, Jacob. Uh, Every year at Mr. Right. Mr. AOI, last pick of the draft. Yeah. Two years in a row. No, I'm not gonna I got the like, second to last pick now. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's because that's he, he, he fumbled a little bit, like uh, like like Murray Bishy. Mm. But man, I didn't, Golly. I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot. So bad. So here we are on Rayburn. No. Not Rayburn. Rayburn. Let's go on Rayburn next week. Rayburn. Let's go next week. So here we are at uh, <laughs> Here we are. So close. Oh yeah. Hey, but I mean, that. dude. So so we're gonna talk about this a little bit too. We're gonna talk about practice. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Uh, but man, I'm not gonna lie. I feel so stinking rusty out here. Like we we all we all kid around, you know, casting mechanics and this and that. But these fish. So what happened is it's been a drought here on Toledo Bend. I mean, all winter long, these boys came out here and pre practice and, and it was phenomenal fishing in December. Well, literally over the last week and a half, they got like. What ten inches of rain? I heard twelve. I heard sixteen. I heard sixteen. I mean, ton of rain, and it just spread them out. And the problem is now, instead of groups or singles and doubles, and you try and cast on one of them suckers swimming around, dude, it's tough. And I just, uh, man, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nervous. Hey, that's that's another. You touched on something too, Adrian. About your mechanics and staying in tune, and you've been you got a be. lot of commercial. Yeah, like, I've been slacking. I've been catching people conks. don't realize. But we all do. We go through this every year. And and y'all look at it as, like, glamorous. And, oh, you're so lucky. I wish I could be you. We get these new boats every year. Mm-hmm. And then we get new setups. Mm-hmm. We get new graphs, new transducers. 
And all that stuff mm -hmm. is individual. New trolling motors. New trolling motors. We got to get out there and get all that redialed in, which can take months. Just to mm -hmm. just to dial the boat in for our buyers. Just to give it's them all. all literally, there, yeah. we get them dialed in finally, and then yeah. we sell them. Man, that it's is unbelievable. A big deal, bro. It, it does stink. I ain't well, that's why you always keep boats for two, three years. Or a lot of times I will. I yeah. mean, but I won't fish. It's, I won't yeah, but fish. It's smart. But I won't fish tournament. I won't fish professionally out of that same boat. Yeah. Twice. Right. But I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I, it is tough though. Like oh. it is one hundred percent, bro. You get and there's always in. something, and it takes time. And then by the time you end up getting your boat wrapped, all that's that stuff, the takes time. hardest part it about is. living in the Northeast. Period. You don't get it out like it's frozen. No, yeah. I got I got nothing. Hey, so you're what are the stripers then, doing right now? That's crazy. Well, now now they're further south. Oh, Water they all leave. Oh yeah, they go on. Yeah, Water know. temperature gets too cold. Yeah. yeah. Where do they go? They're migratory, so they just go south of Virginia. So they get out of Virginia. That's about as far as they'll go. Yeah. And then they come back. Then they come back. Once it warms up? They just get pounded on, up, down, up, down. Really? Yeah. Unbelievable. Really? Yeah. So they, so you, that's what you see, so you guide in the fall as well. Yeah, we'll, so do, like, we'll do some guiding. We'll, I, but I don't run a whole lot of trips. So we have, we have the charter program. You know, we have, yeah. two, we have two, two charter boats. But in the fall, I turn one charter boat into a commercial boat. And I'll run the commercial uh, operation. I got a couple other captains that'll run the charter boat, and and I mean that's just what we've been doing the last few years. And yep. it's a it's a nice break from bass fishing, but when it comes down to it, I mean, dude, it's it, it makes the first couple of events tough. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. I imagine so. I can only imagine. So, <clears throat> y'all were talking about a while ago. I know we're bouncing subject to subject, but we we're do. here. We're here at Toledo Bend. Where um, the tournament starts tomorrow. It does start tomorrow. Do y'all not, not want to share your story, stories for Mexico? For Jacob. Y'all all went to Mexico together. We're leaving whatever happened in Mexico. Story. What no. happens in Mexico oh, stays in Mexico. I mean, I mean, I mean J that? Jacob should be wearing a boot right now because he broke hey, his Jacob did. There's Long a story lot of short, things, yeah. Jacob broke his pinky toe. Hey, you know, you ain't been walking funny. You, you back. No, I'm straight. You straight, yeah. Yeah. Hey, tell him how you broke your pinky toe, Jacob. So, so I did break, I did break my toe. <laughs> was it your pinky toe? It was my pinky toe. Y'all should have seen him. He was so pity poor, just over here limping around. Like, Ooh. I was, man. I was hurting there for a little bit. But well, I still played volleyball and still whooped you boys. It was perfect. Yeah. I did that, did that, next, day. Hey, hey, next, day. Hey, hey, that next day. Hey, 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 that wasn't you had a good team. Well, heck yeah, there ain't no yeah, I yeah, in team. Yeah, there ain't no I in Jacob team. Listen, hey, team, my team. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Beat y'all. Yeah, hey, including me. You know, I had some good digs, man. I, hey, listen, man. <laughs> I had some good I, I digs. Caught, I caught you on one. Oh, yeah. Boy. Or Tanisha did, right? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she got I, you I, digging I, one up, diving. I was yeah. like, hey, that lady came over there. Hey, come on. She was, she was so, 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 so like, she was, you remember the, the, the lady the came over? The visor? With the visor on? Oh, body. she, I was like, oh, she looks like she can play. And she's yeah. like, mm -hmm. yeah, I played uh -huh. in school. And I'm like, oh, you a veteran. And she was trash. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, nah, was. She, just, she was a little rusty. She mm -hmm. was. But I bet you in, back in her day, though. Oh, in her yeah. prime, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, so we so we were we went to uh, we went to Cancun. Cancun. All hung out together. We had Justin Martin, all the wives, just hung out for a few days. Sort of brought in the new year the right good way, time. and good time. Uh, it was a good time. Yeah. So right. so I broke my toe. Went up to <laughs> to not spike the ball, just get the ball because it was early on, and and, and uh, my teammate. Actually landed on my foot and broke my toe, so that was how it was. It wasn't That's one of these guys. Crazy. We so. thought that was our only shot in beating Jacob this year. He, but he bounced but he back, back pretty quick. Pretty Gosh, quick. damn! I was, I was hoping sucker, for sure. I think I think oh. I heard A would pay the kid off, but I didn't know. Yo, <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Hey, oh, hey, we name Ooh. dropping a little bit around Man. here, boy. That's fine. Uh, we'll get a little spicy. <laughs> anyway. Why not? I mean, all these other podcasts like getting spicy. Hey. You might all as well. these other podcasts love shouting out people. Hey. The Dean Queens. Ooh. Ooh. Who are they? Where's me a little tutu at? Hey, bro, you did low key have a I did wear the tutu. tutu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get uh, controversial in our podcast because no. we're pure. <laughs> we're pure. You're we're purely happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Apparently, some people ain't. <laughs> anyway, uh, but no, like I said, we're at Toledo B, and the tournament starts tomorrow. We're excited. Twenty twenty four seasons here. We're finally back, boys. We are. We're back in the house. Ain't no doubt. Underneath some new rules again. New rules. Everything's new. New year, hey, new me. We just left a. We just left a meeting. Big dog. That's we're, all I'm gonna say. What? If you hadn't caught up yet, we're back to all fish counts. We're excited about it. We're positive about it. 
It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of big fish to, to get caught. And I can guarantee you the guy that wins ain't going to just catch two pounders. No. Nah. He's going to weigh in some daggum biggins. Yeah, I mean, I think For there's sure. – uh, it's interesting. You know, there's a lot of different things changes this year. I think the Every Fish Counts format. I, I mean, you know, we've talked about it several times. I feel like it's made us all better fishermen. I feel like there's times when, yeah. when you know – you, you're put in position like, I mean, I know last year I, I enjoyed fishing for five, had a great year, oh, yeah. caught a lot of bass, but at the end of the day, like, you know, you, you get five, you catch 21 pounds, and in the scenario, you're like, all right, I'm good. Straight you know, and you, and you sort of, but like, you know, in this scenario, that, that score tracker really changes the game. It's okay. always moving, it's always going up or down, you know, you're falling or you're climbing, and uh, that, that keeps you hungry. Yeah. Based off my practice, which yeah. we just got done with practice, and we can't really talk about information much, but I'll just say this. I would not change one thing that I did in my practice if we were fishing for five tomorrow. 100% would not. I wouldn't change No. Anything. I would, though. I, I would have changed would. a little bit just because maybe a little bit. I would have. But, but it would have been like – it would have been the only thing that I would have changed, I might have thrown a glide bait a little bit more. It's the only thing that I might I did have. not throw a glide bait. I might have thrown that a little bit more if I was fishing five just to sort of get a vibe on like some things. Catch like a 10. Yeah, like to try to gener- – to like, hey, if I got to 20 pounds, like could I catch in seven <laughs> I agree. and generate yeah. a bite on timber or could I generate a bite – I would say that on, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. that's the only that. thing that I would have changed probably yeah. really. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good Oh, thing. it's going to be – hey. Also – Regardless, hey, at the end of the day, five fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, it don't matter, bro. Yeah, the one thing remains the same a bass is a bass, and, and, you, be- and you best be catching them. You better be yep. catching them 100%. And that's just that's just what so, it is, bro. uh, yeah, we're excited. The tournament starts this week. Um, another thing that you got to talk about too is this sort of year. This year's a year that uh, there's a lot on the line for a lot of people. You know, yeah, there's – uh, so Major League Fishing announced this last fall that they were going to a 50-man field in 2025. Two-year cuts, 15 anglers will get cut and, and, and drop down to the AAA levels at the end of the year. And then there will be 15 more uh, – or 2020 – yeah, end of 2025. Uh, we're 2025. Going to well, we're going to 65, but the end of 25, go to 50. Yeah, yes. So, like – so, we have two – getting cut, yes. The field's getting cut to 50. In two years, I think that's gonna be good. I, I what always, th- what's I mean, your thoughts on that? I think, I mean, we always said, okay, if there was ever an opportunity for there to be one league, mm-hmm. that would be the best, right? Yep. Best case scenario. But I think cutting our field from eighty to fifty is good. I feel like it's gonna showcase, you know, the anglers better. You're gonna have more TV time, mm-hmm. um, and when it comes down to a professional sport, I mean, of course. You know, it's you're better off having less professionals than you are having two hundred of them. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at Formula One. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Was, was it twenty? How many? Is there how many drivers? Like fifteen, twelve, fifteen? Somebody, it's not that many. Ten, fifteen. You know, I look at it from a uh, from a standpoint like they're running a business also, and you know whatever's best for the business is fine. But I also will say this: me, if I'm an up and coming guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing that mm-hmm. the the stakes just got higher for me, for, oh, sure. for sure. And I mean, if they're not already higher enough, you dig them. Gas is high, the entry fees are high, everything's mm-hmm. high. I mean, yeah. dig them four faces sonar, you better have it, and it's high. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the stakes just got rose up a little more. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think it has it's a it's a it's a double edged sword, man. It has it has the potential to be great, right? Um. But the, you know, if you look at it from a, a short a short window, right? Like in the in the in the, you know, in the in the in the months thereafter, guys are getting cut. Those are careers that are being ended. <clears throat> I, I also sympathize with them boys too. Absolutely. You know, these are our peers. A lot of them are friends. A lot we of know them are these household cats. names. Man, this is le- a lot of legends. Yeah. You know, I've been doing this long before we even had an opportunity. Kind of paved the way more or less. But uh, <clears throat> I do think that. You know, it, it could it could be good too, from a from a from a sponsorship perspective, from an exposure perspective, um, competition perspective, com- every competition. Yeah, I mean it's I, it's, it's stiffer. It's yeah, multi it's, it's multifaceted. You know, but I will it, say like, this: you you will <clears throat> see. Okay, when you see that happen, I mean, it, like let's let's go on the other side of the spectrum of things. Bass, they let go ten. People every year, yeah, 10, 15, oh, yeah. I don't even know. They let, yeah. let them go. I think it's ten, yeah. 
Yeah. Ten percent of their field. Yeah, yeah, ten percent yeah. of their field. They're going every year, yeah. but they replace them with new guys, and like that, that's an opportunity for us. That's huge. Guys. That's mm-hmm. huge. That's, that's an, it's important to have people go in, come, come up, like new blood. You there, gotta catch like, them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. there's a thing is to, like, bro. yeah, it, it's a performance base. It's like it. you yeah, perform. Yeah, we're not getting away Listen, from performance base. You got to catch these suckers. Even the best look, even the best, like Michael Jordan had to retire at some point in time. Yeah. Tom Brady retired at some point in time. Oh yeah. Everybody, there's a time for everybody, and there'll be a time when we will have to retire and have to say, "Hey, look, yep. that's our time right now." Oh, I hope it's a oh, long God. time. VD retired recently. Like speaking of a long time, it'll be the first tournament. The first tournament, man. The goat, the goat just retired, man. Yeah. Be, and, and, you, and you always want, you always want to go out on a high note too. Like you don't want to push it. Like, yeah. like, like VD. Just said, my, my man, my man. What do you finish second in his second, last term? Uh, yeah. And he said, he said, go, you know, he's I'm gone. Out. Yeah, on the top and, ten. And and he had a lot of years. Well, he is fishing Redcrest this year. He is. Yeah, he is yeah. He's got another heavy, opportunity. Heavy hitters too. Hey, he? heavy hitters and red crest. I, I can't remember. I think he's and, 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 and you know he's going to reel men. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's, he's got he's, he's got going a point to prove, man. Talking about VD, uh-huh. and he don't, he won there previously too. Uh-huh. Same Absolutely. time of year. Yeah, he, he's excited about that. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be really cool though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so I mean, I mean, I'm excited. So, so sort of jumping into Toledo Band practice. I want to hear it, boys. I want to hear. I want to hear the doc talk. Give me that doc. Here's talk. the doc talk. I'm gonna rate my practice one to ten. I'm gonna say mine was. An, I'm saying eight. Ooh. Oh, that's solid, bro. Mine, mine was a seven seven point eight. What's yours? I, I'm gonna rate mine like a. To be honest with you, I'm gonna rate mine a five eight. I don't. I don't. I. I, I just didn't. Get there. I did not fish efficiently in practice. I would say day one, I would be like a, <clears throat> like a C. I would say day two was probably an A minus, and then today was probably like a you know a C or a D. So I'm I'm gonna say like a like right around a little bit above average. I'm not gonna say above. I'm gonna say actually less than that. Probably like a four realistically <laughs> average wise. <laughs> So I what you're like, saying is tomorrow through Sunday is going to be an A plus 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 like it. <laughs> I is. mean, listen, your crappy practices no, do not. I don't mean, want to hear it. This sucker right here dials them in. Beep, 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 beep. I, 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 this is the thing. This is what people don't understand. I do not dial them in practice. I don't. All the tournaments I win, most of the tournaments that I've won, and when yours the same way. I've made decisions in the tournament that have helped me win the tournament. 100%. Like I've adapted. I adjust. I don't get dialed in because that locks you into something. Yeah. And I changes. personally feel like I have to make adjustments on the fly. And this like is changing every single day. So that hinders my decision making if I'm too locked into one thing. So that's why. Go. So it's right, five points. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll probably say uh, for me, probably eight, six and a half. Eh, maybe close to seven. I don't know. I had uh, some mechanical issues on day one. You know, we generally we generally don't talk about them, but it happens. Beginning so of the season, you got to work them kinks out. You got hey, that's a party about getting mm-hmm. these new boats again. Anyway, I lost the majority of day one, but still got to ride around quite a bit and graph and all that good stuff. And uh, got after it pretty hard on day two. Caught some fish, man. Um, doing a lot of different things, and so I think in the grand scheme, I think. A few guys are going to crush them, mm-hmm. and then I think the field will do decent, you know. Right. But but yeah, I'd say six and a half for me. It wasn't too crazy. It ain't super easy. It's not. No. It's not. And it's a lot. It's a, there's a lot of dead water and a lot of non fishable water. So, How about you, Adrian. Man, honestly, it was a, it was a tough one on your boy. Um, you know, every body of water that we go to, there's always an historical area where it goes down. Yeah. You know, an area that. <clears throat> generally a lot of tournaments get won you know a lot of the bass live and uh, yeah community holes yeah. right and for whatever reason i stayed away from those areas this week and 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 uh you know of course you know the, uh, the first day of competition it could be different i could slide in there and go fish around and try to try to learn that area a little bit better but for me i really tried finding something off the wall this week yeah and it just didn't happen um so honestly, you know, first day of practice, I only had a handful of bites. Second day of practice, kind of like Jacob, I had a little bit better day. Had you know generated a decent amount of bites, and then today, for whatever reason, I stayed out of that area again, and and uh, you know did a lot of running around in, in hopes that something was going to clean up. You know, I really thought coming into this tournament with all that rain and the rain stopping and the week progressively just getting better. You know, mm-hmm. I thought that something was going to open up and clean up. And I really looked for that today and I didn't find it. 
But yeah. sometimes you got to take chances like that, you know, and, gotcha. and, uh, and well, we talking about can, practice. Clean up during the week. Too. You just never know. You, know, you right? just yeah. never know. So for me, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate my practice a four out of ten. Four out of ten. Wow. Uh, well, kind of scared. No. Nah, he's about to smash. Nah, about know, to smash. I already know this guy. You never know. Well, dang, y'all make me feel bad. Do you see what yeah, that so eight, so, so, hey, you they're, said? They're four out of ten. Hey, I had a decent practice. Now we know why he didn't call. No, no, here's the thing. <laughs> well, well, here, here's where I'm I at. Lie, I'm lying, always, I'm dying. I do my best. I'll just lay it out there for y'all. I do my best to just win practice, and then I wait till knockout round to not catch crap. You do a good job at some dogs. It happens. You, do, you have tournament. done that. You have done that. I, know, I don't really understand. I mean, no. You've got here, a little bit better of a strategy, though. Well, here's the thing. Nowadays, like at Murray last year, I still, for the life of me, don't know what happened in that tournament. I only caught like one. One or two bass on the second day at, during, you know, my knockouts. Cliff Crochet was still catching four and a half, five pounds on the same bank. <laughs> on the same bank. That's unbelievable. I and was I was like, Cliff, like stop reeling them in. <clears throat> so I completely left and went and practiced the rest of the day. I just left all them fish and dude, there was boo coodles up. Yeah. I will say this: conditions always change in these tournaments mm -hmm. during the knockout rounds. Conditions are changing now. Yep. I, <clears throat> I'll kind of reiterate, Jacob. Like I know things are changing. <laughs> Especially pre-spawn so, tournaments. I yes. feel like they change more than any other. Oh, yeah. The water is getting dirtier in certain areas. Water's clearing up in certain areas. So, I know that. I'm not basing this tournament off my practice at all. I had a fun two days, three days. May not catch crap tomorrow. I don't know. So, like, the thing is people don't at home, you know, we have six days. Six days to the, from the start of the tournament to the end of the tournament. So, I mean, even in the post-spawn, like, you could have a whole wave pull up and leave – and fish be on a point in that period of time from the end of practice. So you have to realize, like, yeah, you're going to have to make adjustments. You're going to burn something, and then you also aren't on the water every single day. So somebody could be burning those fish that you were just caught, and you just don't know what's happening. So it, it, there is a lot of variables. There, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a dang – it's a marathon, man. It's the not a sprint. The wind may blow out of the north one day and blow some water in or blow water out and yeah. fish leave. Or show up. You have no idea. It, it, Keep an open mind. It is mind. interesting. It is. It's, it's, what, it's what makes this fun, though. That's right. It's always a puzzle. Well, guys, we, uh, yeah. we're we going to hop off here. We just wanted to uh, just hop on here and just say, hey, what's up? It's 2024. New year, new us. New format. New lake. We ain't been to in seven or eight years. <clears throat> it's been a minute. 2017. Yeah, Toledo Bend. 20, Mark, you, didn't you have a real good tournament then? Tournament? Uh, wasn't real good. I had a decent top twenty. Yeah, top twenty, I think. Yeah, Heck something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. I think I think we're gonna have we're we need to start this one off with a good good start at Toledo Band boys. The goal is all of us in the top ten. Catch them up. Oh, yeah, we got to. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Sorry we look pretty tired. I, I hey, mean, man, we're, 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 we're very day. enthusiastic we're about bass fishing. But we just got in practice in three days. I'm sunburnt, tired, windburnt, yes. beat up, banging around. I, I'm, I'm ready to go to like sleep. like a two-and-a-half-hour meeting, too. Oh, my God. Let's we, not we talk, about talk about that about meeting. That. Uh, we got that, that's a story for uh, another day. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank y'all for it. tuning in. Be sure to follow my guys right here. Love these boys. Love y'all. We out. Peace.